The only one that's currently approved is TDM1. The brand name is Ketsila, um, and that's been approved for use in metastatic disease for a number of years. Uh, most recently, it's gotten approval for women who've had neoadjuvant chemotherapy and have residual disease left over at the time of their surgery. In the past, we would just continue them with Herceptin, Trastuzumab for a year, and now we give them uh, TDM1 or Cadsila for the rest remainder of that year. So that's been really in about the last year, year and a half that that's taken place. Uh, and there's some very exciting developments with other HER2 uh, targeted agents, uh, other sorts of antibody drug conjugates. There's one uh, called DS8201, which looks especially exciting. It has a different payload and, and it's got a little bit higher ratio of drug to antibody than uh, TDM1 does. And it seems to work in patients. They've had a very, very nice response rate, which was reported here at the uh, at uh, San Antonio this year in patients who have already failed treatment with TDM1 or Cadsila. Uh, so that looked very impressive. Those patients had had a median of six prior cycles of treatment, so they'd had a lot of prior treatment. They were heavily pretreated patients and they got a very, very nice response rate, which is very impressive.